My name is Dominic Fudd. I'm a guitarist, composer and sound artist. And I've been developing a piece called Vengeful Ghost at Snape, which is a, uh, an immersive piece for electric guitars based on a concept of fractured punk, which means it's using the, the sound and energy of punk, but dismantled, broken, reformed, and performed an immersive space, a surround space that an audience can pass through. It intersects performance with sound sculpture and sound art. The idea came from a number of places. It was partly inspired by artists like Glenn Branca from the sort of early 80s, around sort of no wave era, where they were fusing um, sort of the energy of punk with abstract jazz, you know, really kind of breaking things down. Uh, sounds which were very angular and aggressive uh, and confrontational, but not following kind of typical rules. Also, more recent artists like Janet Cardiff, who um, has created pieces with multiple speakers, up to 100 speakers in large spaces, that allow the audience, that give the audience an agency to kind of walk around in the space. And also coming from my own relationship with electric guitars, from a, from a rock and roll background, where I feel it's an instrument, it's connected very much with people who are self-taught, it has a lot to, lot to do with uh, agency and DIY. of the project is that it needs to be tested for real you can't it's not something that can just be theorized or written on paper you know you have to be in a space working with musicians to do it at all <laughs> While we were here, we were really surprised how elements of the environment seeped into our consciousness as we were doing it. You know, references sort of maritime kind of metaphors and imagery and, and uh, ways of referencing the ideas we were doing just seemed to kind of creep in. And I think it was something to do with the landscape around here, the closeness to the sea. Something about, something about the elements, essentially, and kind of the roughness of the landscape definitely started to inform the work. First of all, the work itself, you know, it's not based on tonality and, and structure. You know, it's based on, or at least not structure in the sense of linear structures, it's based on the sense of organisation and disorganisation. And, and, and the sounds we use are essentially gestures. So we're trying to avoid kind of uh, traditional methods of approach in writing music. So it's informed partly by, by sound art. It's also affected by the fact that the people I've chosen aren't typical musicians. We have a, a visual artist, we have someone who's more of a percussionist and singer, myself, and we also use a spatialization and, and exploring ways of using computer systems for distributing sound creatively. It's also about forces, uh, oppositions of forces, whether they're uh, sonic, whether they're structural, architectural, if they're landscape, if they're to do with the way people relate to each other. It's a piece which isn't meant to be experienced in the, in the, in the sense of a linear set piece of music. It's, it's, it's abstract and supposed to be experienced in the way you would experience an abstract, uh, abstract sculpture, for instance. When, when we walked into the derelict area, it kind of took our breath away a little bit. It's kind of crumbling, sort of decaying beauty. And it's, and it's also a space which is obviously, by virtue of its, its kind of sort of semi-disintegration is a work in progress of its own. 
you know, it's somewhere like this, this is, this is a performance space, which is, it's, you know, perfect. It's kind of been, you know, it is, it, it is as it's intended to be. Uh, in a space like the derelict area, you know, it becomes another collaborator in a way in, in the performance. You know, it's, you're, you're working with, with a space which is, has its own movement. Also, once we were in there, you know, a lot of it really kind of fired our imagination. So, for instance, we had the idea of, of kind of miniature solo performances in it. So you see like Ali dragging the guitar around or Lewis doing a, a vignette of his own with, uh, with the pedals on the ground. You know, this was, all, this was all kind of inspired by being in the space. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to take it to different locations, you know, around the world, working in, you know, adapting it on each occasion to a different, uh, different physical environments, you know, whether they're buildings, it could be a brutalist car park, you know, something like that, it could be a beach, you know, but in each of these cases is meant to be, is meant to be tried out in different locations because the locations are so important to it you know that's something which became more and more apparent over the course of this residency it was just how important the physical environment was to the project Another area of it which, which really interests me is because essentially it's not reliant on any kind of degree of technical virtuosity. So I kind of would hope that it might be a project which is which can be inspiring to other people because it's 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 an example of kind of artistic expression without needing any kind of great degree of virtuosity or education involved in it. It's 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 um, instinctive that for me is where the power of it is. So in a way, we have this steel perimeter of, 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 of speakers and this, and this ability for the sound to kind of travel any way it's made to. Even generative elements, which is something we're also working on, programming uh, elements of Max MSP, how, to, how that side can be more developed.
one of one of the ideas we had in the derelict space was uh, the guitar drag, which um, Ali was doing a kind of uh, improvised solo performance, where she's you know dragging electric guitar around the concrete and kind of performing musically, as in, as in she's making judgments of gesture. She's making gesture, but with the guitar. So she's using the space and she's using the sound. And there's a, there's a cross between her agency and the limited control you can have of dragging an electric guitar on concrete. And there's this huge sound. So she's also playing with the, with the, the spatial diffusion. So, we, so there's another member of the team who's operating, you know, moving the sounds around the space, kind of across it, around it. So this is another part of it. This is the kind of sculptural side of the, of the piece. been creating here is almost like a code you know it's something which we can then we can sort of replicate and vary it can sort of it can it can mutate in many ways you know and that that's always kind of been the intention that it's not something which is which is fixed it's going to be you know it can morph I'm interested in the third result of, of, of putting elements together and just seeing what happens when you like the chemicals
Yeah, Leah, we switch to... Uh...